Welcome to an introduction to accounting brought to you by Park Bench Tutors. In this podcast we are going to look at the setting up of recurring entries and we do that in the section uh, which is the bank section. A recurring entry means a standing order or a direct debit that is paid out each month or even each week. The difference between them is that you set up a standing order, you determine how long it's for and how much it is for and you can alter that at any time. With a direct debit you are not the originator, you are the person who pays the direct debit and it's the originator who sets up the terms and you will have to sign an agreement to those terms before you actually get direct debits taken from your bank account. Either way money is going to come out of your bank account to pay a standing order or direct debit so let's see how we set these up. We are looking for, here we are, a new recurring transaction. So I'm going to click on that, open up the screen for a new recurring transaction, and it's going to come from the bank gut current account. So OK, I set it up for the bank current account. And it's going to be, we're going to have an expense. So the expense that we're going to do is, let's pull it up here, what I'm looking for is here we are we're going to rent a property for a period of say 10 months okay so it's going to be 10 months and here we are rental of premises so we're going to pay it every month let me set that up and it's going to be for 10 months and our first payment is going to be due we can say next month on the 10th and uh, because it hasn't been posted previously and I it, we've got here the indication that the last posting will come on the 27th of the 6th 2013 and we'll say that our rental is going to cost us for these premises 200 pounds it's going to attract that which can, means it's going to be 240 pounds and that then is what we do to set up a direct debit we will just do another one just so that you are familiar with it we're taking them from the bank current account we are we selected the bank current account and this time I'm going to set it up for internet charges and we'll say we have got a contract to provide internet security for a website or whatever and that we're also going to be paying this every month and we are going to set it up for the next 12 months and um, we'll have so we have probably a smaller amount we'll say it costs 25 pounds plus VAT and that's our second recurring entry so we've entered two things uh, one for rent and one for internet charges and these are going to be taken from our bank account each month so just enter those thank you